Hi, Bobby Thompson here from Crochet Guru, and welcome back to my lesson number two on my Learn How to Crochet series. Now in this lesson, I'm going to show you the two best ways of holding a crochet hook. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get started by showing you how to hold your hook. Now there are a couple ways to do this, but I'm first going to get just a little technical. But don't worry because I'm going to go over this part fairly quickly. Now there are five parts to a crochet hook. The point, the throat, the shaft, the thumb rest, and the handle. Now I don't want you to get nervous and think that you have to learn all of these areas on the hook because the only areas I even want you to be concerned with are the handle and the thumb rest. And the reason for this is because I'm going to be using these two terms a lot when describing how to hold your crochet hook. Now it is important to know that the crochet hook is placed in your dominant hand. And there are two ways that I know of that you can actually hold your hook. The first way I'm going to call the knife method. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering why I'm holding a knife, but to be honest with you, I feel this is the easiest way to help you understand how we're going to be holding our crochet hook. So it can't get any easier than this. We're basically going to hold our crochet hook the exact same way I just held the knife. Now the only thing you need to make sure of is that your thumb and middle finger are grasping the thumb rest and that your handle is resting against your palm. So this next method I like to call the fork method. Now some people call this the pencil method, but I'm going to stick with the fork method. And what you're going to do is hold your crochet hook exactly the same way I'm holding this fork. Now in this method, make sure your thumb and forefinger are gripping the thumb rest and that your handle is resting on the fleshy area above your forefinger. Now I'm not sure what this area above the forefinger is actually called, but just make sure that is where your handle is resting. Now this way is actually a little bit more uncomfortable for me, so I don't use this method. But a lot of people prefer it this way. So really it's just up to you, and more importantly your comfort. Now your hands can become cramped if you don't have the right grip on your hook. So try using both methods for a while until you get the right feel, and then go ahead and choose one that's best for you. Now if you find yourself using a completely different technique to holding your hook, stick with it. If it works for you, that's great. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot and have a really great day.